So I'm at the Aprovetro Permaculture Center in Oregon. So I thought I'd make an ad libby video today talking about what permaculture means to me. It's a big buzzword and there's a lot of like bleh around the word. A lot of like not very well thought out ideas, just like everything is everything else, radical holism, and that's not what I want to talk about. So permaculture stands for permanent agriculture, or at least that was the original breakdown of the term, permanent agriculture, permaculture. When it was described to me, permaculture was differentiated against sustainable agriculture. So in sustainable agriculture, you're sustaining something, you're keeping it at a, at a constant level. Whereas permaculture was about reinvigorating the environment, bringing it back to life, not just keeping it at a flat line. Permaculture can also be taken to mean permanent culture. Culture is this very human phenomena. We typically think of culture as unnatural. We take our cultural practices and we insert them onto a natural environment. So permaculture is a way of integrating our cultural practices with the natural environment so that they can live together permanently rather than having this sort of segregation between wild and artificial. And the word wild is a very interesting term today in 2014. What does wild mean? People typically take wild to mean not touched by humans. Evolving separate, we have nothing to do with it. But today there isn't really such a thing as wild forest. Uh, yes, this tree is an old ghost tree. This tree sprouted before the Civil War. So that's an amazing thing to think about. But why is this tree still here? Well, let me show you. So this tree is still here because it's been designated by the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife as a wildlife tree. So this tree has been saved to provide wildlife cover and habitat. It's been saved because people think that it's important. But that fact itself is also important. What I mean is that this tree is here because a group of humans decided that they wanted it here. There's no such thing as wild anymore. There's only wild. We take parts of the world and we draw a little box around them and we say, okay, you can be wild now. That's the state that we're in. I can grieve over that fact, but it's just true. Humans have taken over the planet, taken over it. But there's different kinds of ways that you can take over. Modern Western thought is founded on the principles of reductionism. That in order to understand something, in order to master it, you need to break it down into its tiniest pieces and separate every piece from every other piece. Segregate all aspects of the world apart until you get down to the simplest details. And then from those simplest details you can build a world back up. And that's an incredible philosophy. It's, it's enabled us to build so many things, like this camera that I'm talking to you with. But it also has this sort of insidious quality where it causes everything to be segregated from everything else. So we think, this is wild, this is natural. This is up, this is down, this is art, this is science. So I see permaculture as a holistic response to reductionism. Not holistic in the sense of like, oh, everything is everything else, you can't separate things, you know, not like that. But holism in that we can recognize that everything is connected even as we understand the activities of all the different pieces. So permaculture looks at agricultural practice and it says, let's try to blur the line between wild and domesticated. Let's try to increase the surface area that the forest and our homes have to interact. So it's not as if the garden becomes wild. Wild is gone, but it's a way of interacting with the ecosystem around us so that the dichotomy between natural and artificial isn't so strong. Humans have forever changed the planet. And the next century is going to see more ecological catastrophe than the last 50 million years. But the Earth isn't going to die. Life on Earth isn't going away. It's evolving. It's going to evolve around us. And we're revolving around it. The way forward isn't to draw a box around the natural world and say, oh, oh okay, stop, stop. That's natural. Humans, you can't touch that. We have our own concrete world that we can live in and we have to keep nature nature and keep cities cities. That, that just simply won't work. So the way forward is to figure out a way to integrate the things that humans are with everything that the natural world is. And so that's permaculture. It's agriculture as in humans growing food. Agriculture as in humans entering into a symbiotic relationship with their food crops, but doing so in the context of the greater environment that they're in and not trying to create such strict boundaries between us and them. Thanks for watching. And remember that everything and nothing are inexorably intertwined.